Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiari. In earlier tutorial, we have seen how we have created our project for micro SD card, and in this tutorial, we are going to modify this code, and uh, then we will test this code on the board. I have already connected board STM32 F7 Discovery board with my computer. Here you can see in utilities and if you press on the settings and uh, if you go into the debug menu you can see here ARM core site SWDP is already connected with the computer. Okay and also we have changed their uh, stack and uh, RAM size also little bit in the previous tutorial. Uh, I had mistakenly declared uh, wrong heap size so uh, I have corrected uh, that uh, this time okay so what we can do here first of all that we need to create some variable here and uh, those variable uh, we can uh, write here this is a private user variables uh, if we do not write it this regions then we may lose these variables when we will regenerate our project okay so one variable is for the result f result that will return a result of file operation and also we need a fat fs object okay let's say it is a sd uh, let's say it is sd fat fs this is a fat fs object and let's create a file object here and uh, let's say it is my file and also we need uh, some variable means uh, some uh, e strings which we will transfer to the SD card and then we will read the SD card in some variable so let's create two variable buff write and uh, with the size of the 20 okay let's this is test program let's say this is test programming and uh, let's say new line and uh, carriage return and let's define one more variable in which we will read the data we can say it is buff hardy with the same size 20 size okay and now let's create one more variable which will store the path of mount SD guard mount path okay let's make its size is 10 and what we need here u int uh, and also we need some more variables which will uh, return the value of number of written and uh, read read byte so you in 32 t we can say here bytes written and also we can say here bytes read okay bytes read the this one has been exceeded so we can make it 30 and also we can make it 30 okay since C do not have a boolean enum so we need to define here boolean enum which we will be using okay here you can say bool let's say false is equal to the 0 and true is equal to the 1 sorry okay and then we can say type def type def nm this pool type as a boolean ok so we have defined here boolean we can call sd initialization function and uh, in fact we do not know how many functions we have to call here so what we you can do uh, you can click on a function then it will list the files which have functions which we can use in this uh, program so let's come here into the BSP driver underscore SD and uh, here you can see we need to call first of all that the BSP SD initialization okay so here what we can call here into user code begin to give one tab and uh, we can call here BSP underscore SD and then init you know BSP means board support package and it will return some variable sorry uh, some result let's store it into the reg okay the reg variable we have already defined into the F result file operation result if you double click on it you can see 
a function definition here. Okay, unsigned int 8, that it unsigned int 8 and VSPSD initialization. It won't take uh, any parameters as an input, it will return a final result. Okay. And uh, now what we can do here if now we can handle this rest if res is not is equal to a 4 ok ok and then what we can do uh, we can call a error handler function ok fine so and this sorry what is wrong here error handler uh, I think it is correct get error 1 ok and make it also error 1 now it must not give anything ok and also we need to define this error variable here sorry error uh, private function so user private function can be defined here ok so it is wired type wired error 1 it is also wired ok now it is not giving any type of error here now you can compile it and it won't give any error to you ok now we have initialized our SD card and uh, after that we need to mount SD card so we need to call f mount and you can see here into ff dot c file there is f mount let me show you here it is f mount in f mount we need to give the fightfs object uh, address of fightfs objects and the path and the bytes means give whether it will option it is optional byte if we give one then it will mount uh, immediately if we give zero it won't mount it won't mount uh, SD card immediately so here f mount and then we need to give the address here that is the SD FATFS and uh, here we are not giving any mounting address and then 1 so 1 means it, it uh, will mount immediately and uh, it is recommended to test every time so what we can do we can copy this code it is recommended to test result every time file result ok so that as soon as we get some error it will stuck into error 1 instead of going into the hard fault ok so this is the res uh, we have here mounted SD card so here we can open a file and uh, then we can write some data into the file ok so result is equal to f underscore open you know f open is here fine so f open into the f open we need to give first the address of sd card so it is a uh, address of my file okay we have um, we have uh, already defined this pointer for the file data type so the my file and uh, then we need to give a file name let's give a file name youtube1.txt uh, and uh, after that we need to give uh, some parameters in which mode it will open it so let's give it fa ok file operation will do into the f open into always means into the always uh, right mode fa if it is not their file then it will create a new file fa write and fa uh, what we can do here fa read so here it will first of all that always try to always open the file if there is a file otherwise it will create a new file into read write mode ok 
fine. And now it, uh, ha it has opened the file. Now we need to write something into the file. Sorry, into the SD card. But before writing into this file, YouTube don't, 